Doodle bud. This X-Tool F1 is just a super slick, fun machine, and it's great. It's got the dual laser infrared and your standard 455 nanometer blue laser. It's got the smoke removal, so you can use this in closed spaces or when you're worried about fumes and whatnot. It's just, it's been tons of fun, doing lots of great stuff. The only challenge, well, it is portable, but you got to take it somewhere. So you could bring this on site to a craft fair or you got some businesses you can do stuff on the spot, kind of wow people and all that type of stuff. If you're doing jewelry, you can engrave items right on the spot. All that's great. But if you got to carry this thing around, you're just, it's got a carrying handle, but you really don't want anything bad to happen to your machine. There is a precision Galvo laser system in here and they're, you know, they're expensive. You got to take care of it. So what do you do to lug this thing around? The answer lies within this box, and I tell you, it couldn't have come at a better time. I am moving tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so we're, well, sorry, the day after, but we're packing all day tomorrow, moving the next day. And, uh, you know, I got to pack up all my gear, and I need to protect my F1. So this should do the trick. And according to the box, it's some type of uh, rolling hard case, like taking luggage to the airport. Uh, uh, yeah that out of there. Let me uh, bust this out. Uh. Uh. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. It appears we have a case. Nice little handle here. Some nice latches. This should be decent. Here we are. The X-Tool rolling hard case or the uh, roll coffer, whatever, is that, that sounds kind of German-like. All right, we have a warning, cannot be immersed in water. So it's got some baggies and instructions on exactly how to pack in your F1. We got a nice little tray on top here, and these are even adjustable. So we got all these different positions. You just find a slot that works good for you, how you want to organize it. Adjustable on both sides. Nice little tray. Nice and hard, reinforced corners, metal strips there on the sides to make it stronger. So it's not gonna flip and flop around on you. That is looking pretty good and sturdy. In the case here, we got a bag. Is that one, two bags? Store your stuff, keep it together so it doesn't get all scratched up. The shadows are gonna be terrible here, but you can see we got a nice perfect cutout. Uh, we got closed cell foam for here, which is what you want, so it's nice and hard, whoops. And then we got some open cell foam up top. Now, I did something similar to this for my laser pecker that I have. I bought one of those fake Pelican brand cases with the pluck foam, which is sort of the, the easy option to do it. You make it fit everything you want. But the challenge with that stuff is after you put your thing in and out a few times, it starts ripping and coming off. Uh, this is what I wanted to do for that device. And well, you know, here we go. X-Tool made it for the X1. And I was even thinking I could use my S1 to make the foam cut out for my other laser and just use this same type of stuff. But you can see here they uh, they got the cutout, they got the stencil, they just layered it up and now you got that proper, this is the proper foam to use, not that pluck and peel stuff. It's it's good for a couple of times, but after that it's, it turns to garbage. So this stuff will, uh, will stay true to form and shape. And around the back, we got ourselves handy little handle here. So, uh, you know, you're going to take this to a trade show. I don't know if you can take one of these on an airplane on your carry-on. Well, maybe. But if you're going to a show, you got all your stuff, whatever it is you're doing, and uh, you don't need to be carrying things because you probably got enough stuff you're hauling. you got a nice little roll case, and you could probably put your other boxes on top of all your gear that you're bringing, all your supplies and cutouts that you're going to be doing and all the stuff you're going to be engraving. It doesn't matter right away, but eventually it does. If you got decent quality casters, so we actually got some nice ones on here. These are desk actually decent. These aren't the cheapest ones you can possibly get. These should last roll smoothly, and they even have a little simple lock on it. You'd be surprised how handy that can come in when you don't want, don't want your $2,000 piece of gear go flying down a, a hill or something. You're at a market, and then it's sloped, and you put it there for a second, and this thing starts chucking down the... <laughs> Down the craft fair, you could just got the wheel lock there to keep everything safe. So, uh, as true to form, I've always been impressed with all of X Tool stuff. They didn't even cheap out on the casters. Even the hinges, simple design, but also means there's very little to go wrong. It just slides up and down on that channel there. So these will last. They're not gonna get out of kilter and get all crooked on you. 
And just notice this here on the top, handy little mesh bag to fit other random stuff. As I put the machine into the box, you can see I am wearing a flannel plaid onesie. Hey, I gotta stay warm and the rest of my clothes are packed. Now it says down here that you put the bottom plate into the bag along with the other one that you put on when you're cutting through stuff. What I did is I took that little L that's got this threaded uh, bits on it and I just screw the plate down to the frame. Just, you know, that's what, the way I do it. And uh, then I'll put the plate in there. I just don't want them to scratch. Just do it like so. Here's the power supply. Now one thing they could maybe include are some of those little Velcro loops. So just to help with organization, they, these, I mean, they probably came with them, but I misplaced them by now, but uh, that'd be a nice little thing to add with the bags. Just those little Velcro loops to keep everything together. Would be perfect to wrap around the power cord and your uh, USB cable as well. Off on your tray, and then you got the foam to go on top. What I'm going to put in there is the power supply from the air purifier. Oh, you know what? I wonder if Chuck can fit there. Let's see. It does. We're compressing that foam. As long as it doesn't take a real hard hit to the top, and this is pretty solid, you can store the Chuck. So you can put like your uh, safety glasses in there, your other power supplies and cables. Let's just get that in there better. Actually, what I might do is put that down on the bottom. Doubles as a cable organizer. Let's put that back on top. There you go. Now you're ready to roll. So the only challenge now is where do you put your air purifier? So, you know, that's not going to work. Doesn't fit there. Um, that might be something to consider having an XL version of the case so you could fit the air purifier and the chuck. Uh, you don't have to have as much protection on this. We don't have a Galvo laser we're trying to protect here, just a, a box. So that's, you know, that would be cool if they did that. For now, I think you'll just have to stick with the bungee cord or something like that. Uh, for the time being, you know, not as nice of a solution, but that's what you could do. Uh, yeah, that works. So not everyone has the air purifier, so I get it. It does store the laser and everything you need perfectly, your accessories, even your rotary and other other room for other stuff. It would be cool uh, if there was a solution for the air purifier if you got that. But overall, I do like the build quality. Uh, everything went together. You know, it's it's put together quite well, nice and sturdy. This This stuff makes a big deal. Just proper reinforcements in all the corners to beef the thing up. They got the right type of foam in there. The cutouts are good. There's a wheel lock. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Would you want your $2,000 piece of gear just to go screeching down the road? All right, so I'm happy. My F1 is protected. Nothing bad is going to happen to it when the movers come. My wife's going to like the look of that and be happy about that too, so that's a big bonus. But now I just got to figure out uh, how I'm going to organize this setup and all my other gear here too. So uh, this one's a little bit heavier. I think it'll be okay. I might just put this in the back of our car, take it ourselves just so the movers don't mess this thing up because this is a sweet machine. So I think I'll baby this one and bring it to the house myself. That's it for now. I'll probably have a little pause in this type of work laser stuff because I got to get the shop set up at the new house here. Hopefully it won't take too long, but I will find out what we run into. This would make a great gift if your spouse, your partner, whoever, uh, they have an F1 and they're out doing some engravings, doing some jobs, making some money. They're terrified every time they go somewhere that nobody rear ends their car or whatever it is they do. They don't drop it or it falls off or during transport. Transport is terrifying with a machine like that. So if you want to know, hey, what should I get them? They, they would appreciate that. They might not buy it themselves, but they've been wanting to. That would be a great gift for someone like that. Or if you know, things have been going well and you're doing lots of these jobs, hey, protect your gear. This is the way to do it. Like I said, I got a lot more packing to do and until then, <laughs> We'll catch you next time.